right back on again. I've got up the hill a bit. Above that tree there, to the side of the tree, look, there's the Rubber Hill Fort mound, the main mound, which I should be on later. On the way back to Alberta, I'll be climbing up the... And then all the way along there is where I'll also be walking along through that, that wood there, over there. I'm just doing like a round trip. This one here, I don't do that often this way. I do like to fit it in every now and again. It's not always once a year though. It could be two years since I've done this one. Um, lots of little ways. If you're a local, you'll know all the walks in and out of here. Big locals know everything. But I always find this particular area a bit spooky. So it is quite... There's no one out walking, and there's the hill fort up there, and it's quite remote, and um, there have been the odd occasion when I've been over a road, road, road barrow where certain people have looked suspicious, to be quite honest, and, uh, but you know, I'm not going into anything more than that. So I've always done my diversionary tactics and uh, taken notes. So I've come up from down there. The track I was on earlier was leading through this wood here. Would skirt all the way to pick up the base of the hill fork down that way. If I'd carried on. But I turned off and I did come towards the pink cottage. Apple Cottage it's called. And the round wooden building. Then I turned up, so instead of carrying on up through a very busy stream, which could be extremely mucky, I'm doing um, a higher route now. There could be areas of bog a bit later on though. Somebody coming, hold on a minute. Yeah, sometimes I accidentally get people on a video, I edit it out so that they're you know <laughs> but uh, that was a jogger they come from all over the place I was a jogger once 30 years ago in fact it was 32 years ago in 1987 I ran my last marathon ever and that was my third London marathon From that year, after that marathon, I moved to Somerset from Reading. I come from Somerset anyway, but I've been a, a teacher and everything. So I moved all, all over the place actually when I was younger. Um, anyway, I haven't run in any race, as far as I know, since 1987. I'm like that, you know, with stuff. Um, I'm surprised I haven't given up family tree yet, but I can't because it's um, developing all the time. I'm well into the DNA stuff now. I've been one of the early people participating in it, even before Ancestry. Well, it was Ancestry, um, the Sorison project and all that. I got, I gave them my DNA. The Biobank have got my DNA and it's being used for research um, and I've got Ancestry but I've only paid for the basic Ancestry so I don't know if they've got any markers on me or anything, I don't know Right folks, this is what I said about being windy This is it, look But in a minute we'll be going round the corner So anyway, I was just saying I used to run. I'd done loads of half marathons, fun runs, all sorts, and got my kids involved. I was also a very strong swimmer. I've mentioned all this in the past, actually. Uh, did life saving, everything. 
uh, later, about 10 years ago, I took up cycling again, only on for leisure. And, um, this is used by the forestry people um, to store stuff in and that here. But like I said, back there, get, this does give me the creeps. This, this, what, this, is, this always reminds me of one of those horror films that you get in those American films. You know, there's just the trees look bleak. You've got the old hut, you know, and you're entering this road. You know, where's it going to take you? What's at the end? What's in the wood? The dark wood as you go slowly forward. So, I mean, I have got an imagination, but it's still, I still don't stop coming out. But it is, I think I do avoid it in a way. I don't do it quite as often. Because normally I'm on my way to Cheddar or somewhere like that and I wouldn't come this way because this is like off the track. This is going into the wood in a different way. Um, whereas I'm normally on a, a standard route that I'm going to go because I'm going to go to Cheddar. Or if I'm going to go across the Mendips, I sometimes shoot straight across. I wouldn't, this is an extra bit that you would do. But it is like the track. That this was all deep mining areas in the past, where the Shipham and the Roborrow miners came. And uh, well, the Christmas trees are looking really bright and perky, and it's quiet again. It's quiet, and they've done the road up since I've been here. So they got, this is like a main artery road for the Forestry Commission and all that Roborrow Forestry people. Um, but you get some great mushrooms in there. Look how dark it is in there, though. I'll just try and zoom in. No, it won't even show. This camera's not very good in dark, actually, I've noticed. I did fix it the other day, but I keep pressing a button by accident. And, uh... Yeah. I, actually, I can see a load of toadstools in there. But they're just common ones. They're around the corner over there. See that little light spot, little white patch there. Apart from that, it's pitch black in there. But normally, with my cameras, I can um, loads of mushrooms actually. Normally, I can go in, but there's something happened. I did drop this camera on the floor once. Um, so basically, I should really bring the other camera out for dark, um, like inside of churches and that. Yeah, this is my healer walking, everyone. I used to, I've been years ago, I used to smoke. I gave up smoking. I still like a glass of wine, but I don't drink bottles and bottles of it. I'm, I'm, I have a, like, reductionist regime. So it's just small bottles, a glass. And just recently, I've been having a glass. Just one glass, most of the time, with my meals. Um, and I enjoy it. Apparently the Queen has champagne every day. She has a glass of champagne and she probably has a whiskey in the evening. And she's 90 odd. Yeah, anything in moderation, it's true. It's not a toxic substance, it actually helps. God, look at that, look at that there, look everyone. Beautiful scene, I'm gonna turn off, take a picture. I'll come back on again in a minute. Look at that, it's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it, going up? It's a walk up that way, you see. Deep into the trees, as far as I can go, and then out again. Absolutely gorgeous in the dark trees. Yeah, I've not walked up there. You can see it's light at the top. That would be a way up for, you know, different exploring different areas if you wanted to. Probably something to do in the summer. I'm just, I'm following the main track round at the moment. So I'm leaving this beautiful little area here, which is absolutely gorgeous, everyone. This is, if you 
just joined. This is Roe Barrow Warren. Dolbury Warren's over there near the hill fort, which I will be doing later. I'm having a wander in the woods to freshen my lungs, um, perk up my spirit, um, reflect on life's events and situations. Uh, personally, I'm feeling not too bad. Um, physically, not too bad. Um, I've been worse actually breathing wise. My breathing, by walking and getting out and getting all the much oxygen as I can. I've got a. What's also helped, I've bought this dehumidifier that has a clean air function on it. And I think that's helped a lot with any house dust and anything else in the air. I feel. I used to feel what's called clogged. Because I used to collect, somehow there was always dust. Lots of dust, especially in the other place. I didn't have this machine then, but this seems to be... Obviously everything comes at cost. I'm not doing it every single day at the moment. But I gave it a really good boost to help drag moisture off things. That's mainly what I got it for, for any... To prevent damp areas and treat small damp areas now and catch them in the bud. Um, really good for the winter really when you can't, you don't always want the windows open, you see. Yeah, so that, that's probably helped, I think. I think that's helped. I mean, I didn't really have damp in my other flat, although it was in the building, other people had damp. But I did have lots of this dust, I was always very worried what sort of dust it was. Uh, I still don't know, but Zara took a sample once and sealed it all up, just in case it's asbestos. We've got a sample of it, just in case. I can see people walking on the hill over there, they're going up towards the hill fort. People with their dogs. Somebody just gone into the wood now. And then there's somebody else there. People walking. Uh, lots, of, actually quite a few people I can see. And I'll be doing that a bit later on. But I'm on this side of the hill at the moment, which does give you very good views, by the way, of the hill fort. Now, I thought I felt a spot of rain then. Hope not, they said it wasn't going to rain. There's the hill fort, a really good view of the hill fort there, like the bosom. I always call it the bosom of the fort. It's an entrance way into the fort. Yeah, they said it was going to be blustery, but they said it was going to make me really dry. So, I mean, I might not do um, a, a massive wander all the way up. I might actually cut down now and join the hill for it. I haven't. I might just do that today. Um, you know, I might actually do that, which means I've got to branch off in a minute uh, and, and cut down through there and then join the hill for it. Um, so I've got to get my. Um, I've got to get a fuse for the. Uh, yeah, there's two people there, look. I thought I saw somebody else as well. Yeah, it might be enough just to do that today. Rather than go all the way up the top. I might, I might actually, when it curls around in a minute, I might actually do that. I might actually do that today. It's just getting out for a little while. Um... You can't trust the, you can't always trust the weather, though to be quite honest, you've been quite reliable. I have relied on them a lot to um what that is there. Oh that's a feeding chamber, isn't it? I don't know what it feeds, or is it a beehive? Yeah, it could be a feeding chamber for some sort of animal. Or it's for special birds. I've got a feeling that this bit has been designated a special bird area. 
They had some signs up once, and I think that's probably a feeding vehicle there. Yeah, well, I'm just going to carry on down, down and go up the hill for it, I think, today. Just in case it's dust, weather does change and I've got to um, take diversionary action. Well, right, there is one here, look. I hope it isn't a beehive. It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? It's like um, Oliver Cromwell's hat. Oliver Cromwell? He wear a big broad brimmed hat, isn't he? Yeah, it's got feed in it. Look, it's got feed in it, type of feed. It's a feeding trough. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I'll take a picture of that up close in a sec. I just want to do a little bit of a view here. I should join all these videos together. Over and out for a minute again.